Sup YouTubers, this is what the computer here, and uh, this is basically part two of how to make the quiz in Flash. Uh, in the part one, we did the uh, easy um, idle start, what is what, yes, you go to game over, no, we never did that next frame. Uh, anyway, if you're wondering how I got it to pop up so you can actually do it, um, you go to control, test movie, or press control, enter. Uh, it's that easy. Uh, just if you're wondering. I know that some people might not know how to do that. Um, anyway, this is the more advanced. Uh, in the quiz called the Impossible Quiz on OneMoreLevel.com. Um, if you want to play it, I'll have the link directly to the game in the description. Um, if you do, if you noticed on question five, you have to click the button. And it says, no, don't touch blue. And if you touch blue, it makes you lose a life. Well, how do you get that to happen? Um, it's really easy, actually. It really is. All you have to do is make your blue, or your uh, button, first of all. It says go. I'll just make it this little thing. Um, remember, we're on our blank frame here. And remember we did the uh, little stop actions there. Don't forget to put that on here. And we'll press F8. Nothing. Um, or right click and work the symbol. Nothing. Nothing too complicated. I'm not even going to double click and do the animations or whatever. I'm just going to say. I'm just going to. Well. No. Click the button. Uh, there. Uh, and basically just click on it. And do the actions. Once again this will be in the description too. It's also in uh, um, part one's description, but on release, go to and play, not that, play um, four, or whatever frame it's going to be next. Because these are on three, the next frame is four. Whatever the next frame is, you put in those parentheses. I forgot to tell you that in part one, sorry. Um, and what you'll do is you'll make another blank keyframe right click on the next frame and insert a blank keyframe don't forget to insert the keyframe right click insert keyframe on the frame before and give it the stop action by clicking the frame and clicking actions where it's black right there click actions okay so on this frame right here you're going to have the blue square or whatever color you want i'm just going to keep it a red and basically what you do is you just drag it a rectangle. It does not matter how big it is. It, it really doesn't. And you'll use the selection tool up here and click on it. And down here it says drawing object. It may not for you, but it does for me. It may say shape or something, whatever. But down here it will have the width and height meters down here. Change the width to 550. Change the height to 400. And then what you're going to do is go under here to align and info transform and click align horizontal center and align vertical center. And as you can see, it matches perfectly. If it doesn't match, then click away from the white canvas or stage or whatever and go down here where it says size. If it doesn't say 500 by 400 or 550 by 400, Change the rectangle to whatever it says, and um, then press the, these two buttons. And basically, that's it. And what you're going to do is, of course, well, you know how you click it? Well, if, like, you click it, and it's just red right there, of course, you're going to click it, and your mouse is still in the same spot. While you touch it, it's game over. So... Basically, it will be impossible, so you're going to have to know where the button is to cut out that little piece. And to know where exactly where the button is, you click right here on Onion Skin Outlines, drag this so it's not showing, and drag this so it's only one frame. It's on frame three. And if you notice, if we drag this over a little bit, we can see where the button was, exactly where it was. Um, so what we're going to do is we're basically just going to take our eraser tool and erase until we find that dot. There it is. Just erase the bigger chunk out of it. Uh, make sure you can see the whole circular.
a button. And then just put room for the like go to the next frame button. Put room for that right here. There we go. Now what you want to do is you're going to turn off the onion skin, or click it, and then click on the rectangle. Um, right click on it and press convert to symbol. Yeah, you set it to button and click OK. What you're going to do is you're going to give this a little bit of code. You're not going to double click and edit this. You don't need to. You're going. To, in fact, you don't want to. It's not. Going, it's going to mess the whole thing up. Um. What you're going to do is you're going to click on it and go down to actions. And you're going to type once again this code in the description on roll over. Once again, notice the capitalization. Go to and play 100, which of course, from as um, told in part one, the loser scene. And uh, so yeah, um, this is what will happen. Let me just get through this real quick. Go, click the button. And as you can see, you touch it, it goes the game over. So it looks just like it. And if you go around just like that, you can it's still perfect. And you touch it with the tip of your mouse, it works. So you can have a button that says go to the next go here again or something like that. Just put in the code or um right click for the symbol. Still keep it a button and just put it on. Release, go to and play. We're on frame four, so we type five in these parentheses here. Okay, um, that's it for part two. Uh, check out part three for an uh, even better tutorial for this. But just to show you that this does work, I'll create. Jeez, don't do that. Uh, I'll create a blank keyframe and show you. And you do an F6 so it stops. Remember that stop action I told you about in part one? Well, I'll just test it out to show you that this works. Click the button, all the way around it, click it, and go to the next one. If you don't do it, no, you mess up, game over. There you go. Uh, that's pretty much it, and uh, thanks for watching.